Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you're just getting started with Articulate Storyline 360, one of the first things you might want to do is import a PowerPoint into Storyline. And the good news is it is very easy to do that. So let's go take a look. All right, so this is the PowerPoint that I will be importing into Storyline. And I got this from the eLearning Heroes website, which I will link to in the description. Uh, if you're not familiar with eLearning Heroes, it is a great place to find all kinds of information about Storyline, as well as some really great free downloads. Uh, so if you plan to do a lot in Storyline, you will definitely want to check that out. Now, before I jump into Storyline, I want to show you a couple of things that are already built into this PowerPoint. For example, you'll notice that this PowerPoint already has animation that has been added. It also has hyperlinks like this start button. So when I click that, it's going to go to the first slide and then you're going to see that there is a next button that I can click on right here. So if you're comfortable and familiar with PowerPoint, you can build things like this ahead of time in PowerPoint before you bring it into Storyline. All right, so now let's go into Storyline so you can see what it's going to look like. So I'm gonna to go to Import, Import PowerPoint, and then I'll click on the file and open. Next, it's going to have me select the slides that I want to bring in. The default is that all of them are selected, but I can select individual slides if I want to. For this example, I'm going to leave them all selected. At the bottom, it tells me that they are going to be inserted into a new scene. Now, if this was an existing storyline project, I could put it into an existing scene if I wanted to. And I can also rename the scene by highlighting here and typing a new name. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it is for now. And then I'm going to click on import. All right, so that will bring all of my slides into Storyline. Now I'm going to double click on a slide to start working on it. And you'll see here that all of the individual elements from the PowerPoint have come in to Storyline. So it makes it really easy for me to edit. For example, this text box. I can just click on it like I would in PowerPoint and make any updates that I want. Or if I wanna change the color of this shape, I can easily do that. Maybe I wanna make it green. Also remember the PowerPoint had animation and that animation carries over as well as you can see. And now I'll just show you what it looks like in the preview in Storyline. And then if I go to the next slide, it keeps the animation and the transitions. And then it also keeps the buttons that I created in PowerPoint. So when I click next, it's going to go to the next slide. And then something else here, notice on the start button, Remember in PowerPoint, I had set that up to be a hyperlink. And now within Storyline, Storyline has automatically created a trigger, which I can edit or I can just leave it as is. So again, Storyline works really well with PowerPoint. And that's why if you're really comfortable with PowerPoint and you wanna build your course out ahead of time in PowerPoint, that can be a really great way to get started in Storyline. Now, obviously Storyline has a lot of advanced functionality, but for just getting started, it could really make sense for you to do most of the building in PowerPoint. All right, so there you go. Like I said, it is super easy to bring that PowerPoint into Storyline and then make whatever edits you need to make. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate a like. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.